In this video, I'm going to replace this paper towel dispenser that I have up here with a, a new type. And I'll show you, this is what I have now. What came with the trailer was a, a pretty cheap um, paper towel dispenser holder. And uh, so I got this one. This one works, uh, but sometimes these are the big uh, Costco rolls that they sell. Um, it'll hang up, um, or as the roll gets, uh, smaller like this, as you travel, it'll unravel by itself and you might find some pieces down here. So I installed it originally here. I just took and pop riveted it in place into the side of this. Um, here I could have done it underneath here. But there are a lot of wires that run up in here, and I didn't want to drill into any. Plus, it's just that cheap old thin uh, paneling here. I couldn't put it over here. Same thing. There's wires running through there, and I didn't want to hit them. So I got this thing. A neighbor of mine got one of these for his trailer. I saw it, and I was really impressed with it. So um, I'll show you how this works later, but it'll be easy to install has two mounting holes so I'm just gonna use my drill and drill new holes for these bolts and I have the uh, drill bit to remove my rivet my dr new drill uh, hole I need to make for the bolts and my uh, screwdriver Phillips screwdriver and a uh, 7 16 sock so these um, Costco rolls are a little bigger in diameter than regular rolls. So let's see how this works. I'm going to go ahead and take this off and put the little roll on so you can see how that works. So right now I have the little roll in. Uh, it's almost empty, but it's actually easier to unroll, which isn't bad. But as it gets smaller, it can unravel while you travel. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And then see, I have these pop riveted in place right here. So I'm gonna drill those out so I can get the new one on. And so I don't make a mess, I got a, um, a cordless vacuum I use here and I'll just uh, hold it up in place while I'm drilling it so I don't have metal shavings flying all over. I've got the old one off. And uh, I won't be able to put the new one in the same hole. So I'm going to just cover those up to make them look nice. I'm going to use these pop rivets. They just go right in there. Like that. And a pop rivet gun. Or a rivet tool. Whatever you want to call it. It's up to you. Like that. You squeeze it. And then what it'll do is it pops. And that way that'll be like that. And just cover that hole up like that. So I'm going to do that to the other one. I And then I'll uh, hold this thing up and figure out where it goes, the new one. And got the rivets in, both of them. And I just uh, marked them with a permanent marker. So they're black, so they match. I drilled the hole as a quarter inch, so I drilled it with a eighth inch drill bit, then my quarter inch drill bit. I drilled one hole right back here. What I did was I held it, the paper towel dispenser in place and determined my clearance. So when I pull it down, it doesn't hit my blinds. And then also, so it doesn't hit the cabinet up above. So I just wanted to keep it as high as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the one bolt in and then I'll drill the other hole after I got it up. I've got the two holes drilled. I, I got this one tight in the back and then I put this up to the right measurement from the cabinet and then drilled this one. I haven't screwed it in place yet. I just wanna let you know um, I'm gonna use Behind those uh, screws, 
the uh, fender washer and then I have a lock nut here. I like to use lock nuts because they don't work loose if you just use a regular nut and there's vibration when the trailer's traveling or anything like that, uh, it could come loose. I'm using the fender washer on the back like that because this sheet metal is so thin. I just wanted a nice piece right back there so it'll grab on to the sheet metal and make sure that towel rack is nice and solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up the other bolt. I've got it all on and now I'll put a roll on it and see how it works. I've got the roll on, you can see everything just clears up above there. Let me come around over here. And they're all clears there and right in there too. So the way this works, it just you'll hear it clicks. It's almost like a ratchet. So like that. And if you have a bunch out like that, you can just turn it back and it ratchets back up. So when you're traveling, it doesn't just work loose. It'll just uh, stop unless you pull it. And then they just, uh, like that, tear it right off. I like that. So I mounted it here. Um, and uh, I know that my stove is right here. But I'm not worried about flames. The flames don't go very high. If something flames up, then we'll be here um, to take care of it. I'm not really worried about this catching fire, um, but you might be. So if you get one of these and decide to put it on, you could do like I did, or you can find another location, but just make sure it's a solid location. Um, these walls aren't, aren't very thick, so you'd probably have to catch some metal in there to make sure it holds, but um, anyways, that's how it turned out. I think uh, you would like this uh, setup. I'm going to take this off and put a smaller roll on that's uh, used a little bit so you can see what it looks like. Uh oh, roll's falling apart. Uh, you get the idea. So there it is with a small roll. So I'm going to leave a, a link in the description below uh, for this um, paper towel dispenser. And um, maybe I'll leave a link to a few other things down below too also. So I hope you liked it um, and uh, you watch uh, more of my videos. Feel free to hit subscribe and the bell icon and uh, you'll get notified of future videos. Thanks a lot for everybody watching and uh, take care and happy camping and stay safe.